this is the Arduino Nano which is connected to the MPU 6050 gyro and accelerometer basically this is a gyroscope which data we want to transfer to the Django web interface so if we open over local host and we come to the login page and we start login hello one two three we will see a page where accelerometer data would be updated so what we are trying to achieve is to send the arduino nano mpu 6050 data of the accelerometer to a web api for that purpose we created a new app in our django project called the sensor inside the sensor we created a view this view is sensor api and we are simply sending a post request in that post request we are feeding a json data this json data is over actual sensor data in the format of x y z of the acceleration and rotation then temperature so this json data is being uh, transferred to the api and uh, similarly we have uh, a simple request of the api which will return the latest sensor data if we come to the url we'll see that here we have latest sensor data and if we try to fetch this from the api and latest sensor data so this returns an error so this is the api route which we need to uh, access after the api and here you can see we will uh, getting the acceleration the rotation and the temperature values if you search the internet you will find a various uh, examples of arduino which reads the mpu 6050 we are reading this data from random neural tutorial basic example and if you come to this example all uh, that we done is the mpu 6050 uh, sensor initialization calibration and uh, the changes we made is uh, instead of uh, sending the data over and over to the serial port we wait for a character and if a character is a this could be anything but we chose a if a is sent on the serial port we create an mpu event and read a mpu sensor data and transfer uh, with the prefix of all and the scale bracket opening and then we send a list of comma separated sensor values and finally once the data is finished we transfer an empty uh, closing scare bracket and we wait for 500 millisecond and then uh, uh, look on the serial port again I just plugged in my hardware and as you can see the accelerometer is being calibrated and filter bandwidth is set to 500 and uh, uh, now what we if we send an A to the serial port it will transfer the sensor readings values like this so this is uh, the reading that we need to read on over python code this is the python code which continuously read data from the serial port and send that data to the django api so the submission process is pretty simple all we created a function which in instantiate a request which is an http post request and we feed a url which is over actual sensor api url and then we send a data which is a json data and then we res uh, read a response and uh, raise for the status and if everything goes well we print that sensor data is submitted to django and here is the response and uh, else we simply print an any error that we face we optionally calculated the orientation by pitch and roll this is a simple pitch and roll calculation formula and based on this we can estimate some positions here is a simple example of how we can uh, 
read some position this data is not being submitted to the backend api for now but this is for our future work and in the main function what we are doing is we are simply uh, waiting a little bit and uh, printing an information that we are ready to read the data then we come in the while loop this loop will continuously run and read the data from the serial port we simply print send an a character uh, this is the way to send a character to the serial port and we encode it to utf8 encoding method and then we read a line from the serial port and decode it to utf8 method so bytes will be decoded into a string and this is read into a data variable we'll print that data and after that we see that if all and opening bracket uh, if you remember that this is the prefix we send or to the serial port and if that prefix is present in the data all we do is we uh, substring that incoming string from the serial port and we will remove that first four characters which is a l l and opening bracket first four character and last two character which is closing bracket and comma and we uh, get a plain actual readings then we split that with the comma separated splitter and we'll get an array of values we put that those values in over variable respectively then we calculate the pitch and roll and we convert this data into our json data like this so this is a simple json data which we submit to our django api and we'll print that uh, the position label and we print that information if we run this program you will see that serial port will be open and it will wait for the serial port and then if it will start reading data from the serial port and it will print a bunch of initial information but if the all and opening bracket is um, appear in this it will start parsing that value and it will successfully submit the data to the django rest api and now if you open uh, the page and let me zoom out a little bit you will see that the values are being updated in real time so it will approximately take take four to five seconds to update the value in real time and here you can see uh, the values are being updated so the two second delay is happened in our uh, front end code if you open the source code of the front end page it is simply sending a, J a json fetch api it will fetching the api and the sensor data and uh, when it get that value it simply put in our respective elements we are doing this with the plain uh, javascript and if we open uh, this front end code here you can see this is our front end code and this is simply sending the this is simply sending the api latest sensor data or fetching that api and if the response is uh, present we calculate the orientation this is uh, not being displayed so far and uh, here we are simply parsing the json data and putting it to respective elements by getting document dot get element by id everything else is pretty simple um, css and the uh, decorated with the bootstrap next thing uh, i like to mention is um, how i modeled my sensor readings this is a sensor data i created a timestamp and then a data which is a json field and as it is uh, we receive the json we save that value into our um, field and we save data and here we created a class method which is simply to fetch the latest uh, um, reading from the values sensor value so if the timestamp we f filter out the timestamp column and the first value is fetched and if that value is present it is returned otherwise none is returned so that's how i created a simple api which reads the data from the arduino and uh, that data is being readed in the python and that python submit that data to our django api